everyone, this is Dari from Purple Petal Studio. You can also find me on purplepetals.net. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make these really cute little clothespins with tiny rosebuds on them. So let's get started. Okay, here are the clothespins that we're going to be painting. They're really nice. I did them in all colors. You could do them in any color you like. Simple clothespin, but it makes a nice little gift for a fundraiser or a wedding shower. You could put a little bit, you could take this and put it on a little cardboard with a little note on there. Just really nice. And the supplies you're going to need are a pack of clothespins, which are unpainted. You could probably get them in the dollar store. You need some small flat brush, which is like, this is like a zero. And you could see the end is just, it's like, it's flat. And then you've got an angle brush, which is what it means. It's It's got a little angle at the end. And this is like an eighth inch. You don't, If you don't have this, you can use the flat brush. It just makes it easier with the angle brush. You need a wax paper or some kind of plate that you can put your paints on. You need some paints. I use Folk Art Multi-Surface, or you can use the Folk Art Enamel, which gives it a shinier finish, uh, or any acrylic paint. This I use at the end. It's just like a gloss enamel glitter. It gives it a shine with a little bit of glitter on the end. And then you want some sort of dotter. Toothpick or... I use these styluses. It's really nice. Just to give you these little dots that I have in there. I'm like a dot fanatic. I love dots on my roses. Anyway, let's get started. What I'm going to use is a flat brush. Any size flat brush. Put some paint on your palette. And just start painting them with the flat of your brush. You go one way, you go the other way, and then go in between. And then you're gonna rinse after you finish it all, which is, I already did on the other side. And you may wanna paint both sides, I did on these. I left one side plain. You could put a magnet on there if you want, even to put on the fridge. Um, and now we're gonna use some paint. Now you can make any color rosebuds. I'm gonna be making pink ones on maybe the blue ones, and I'm using some small flat brush, like you can use a regular flat brush, which, which is like a size zero, or this is an eighth angle. Angle brush makes it a lot easier, but flat brush works fine if you don't have one. I'm going to have, and I'm, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this pink, and I'm just going to dot in where I want the roses. See, I'm just painting in flat. You don't want to glob it on. You just want to paint where you want to put those roses. All right, and you could do all of them like that. I'm only going to do a few so you can see. I'll do some green that I have here. All right, and then I'm going to grab some white on my palette. Just a little bit you need. I'm going to rinse out my brush. And I'm going to blot it dry. You never want to go like this to blot it dry. You always want to keep that angle. See, it's nice and flat. You want to keep that nice sharp edge on there. And you want to get it dry. And what you're going to do is the smaller part of the angle, which is called the heel, you want to grab some of that pink paint. And the toe, which is the, the pointy part, you want to grab a tiny bit of that white. And you just want to flatten it out a little bit. And it's a little hard because it's such a small brush, but you do the best you could. You could always go back, but take your time. And then when you start painting, you can grab a, a dot of that white. And you, you really want to try to wait till these dry. And you're going to come around the top. See how I just made that little arch. Come back. I'm going to grab just a tiny bit of that white. Now I'm going to make that U. And the, um, the flat of my brush is, see it's going around. I'm going to come back and I'm just grabbing a little bit of white. And I'm going to go do a few of these. Take your time doing it. Don't keep grabbing the pink because then it becomes too globby. I have enough pink on there now. See, and then I'm going to grab a little bit of white. Make a U. There we go again. And then come around. 
Don't worry about the insides too much because we're going to go, we're going to make them a little darker at the end. Now I'm going to just flatten out my brush a little bit. I'll grab a tiny bit of pink now and a little bit of white. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over them again. One more time. And I'm just doing a few of these so that the video goes a little quicker. But normally I would do all of, all the dots first, all these little globs of whatever color the roses are going to be. And then I would just do all the tops like, like this. I would do all the tops. Do all the tops on all of them. And then I would come back and do all the U's. Right, so these all have double, double coat. And what I'm going to do now is go back, get a little more paint. You always want to grab that touch of white on the toe of your brush. And now I'm going to come on an angle here and I'm just going to press it down and pull it in. Come back, fix my brush. Come back here, flatten it out and pull it in. See how I'm going to come here, flatten it, pull it in, flatten it, pull it in. I'll come here. You can even lean it out sometimes. And just get a bunch of these in. You don't have to um, go too crazy because they're so tiny. And I'm just pulling in. And look at how nice it's coming. All right? I want to finish one off here. So you can see the whole finished clothespin. And I'm going to come here, boop, 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 boop. And it's almost like a, uh, like a comma stroke you're doing. All right, and I'm going to come in, do another boop, come in. And then I'm going to use the back of my brush and make it just a little darker. And sometimes what you can use is you can use even a darker color paint to go in that middle just to make it a little darker in there. Oh, I got on the white. And look, I already set, so I'll have two of them made so you can see, kind of see what we're doing. Then I'm going to grab this little flat brush and I'm going to grab some green, two greens. I'm going to use a light green and a darker green, but you can use green and white, you can use green and yellow, whatever you have. Dampen your brush, and I'm going to grab a little bit of dark green in the corner, a little bit of light green in the corner. I'm going to flatten it out the best I could without mixing the colors. And if you see, I'm going to do it one more time. Okay, and then I'm going to turn this around on sideways. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to press it down and give it a turn and a pull. Turn and a pull. Turn and a pull. Now you could do two petals, two leaves, or three. And if you make a mist, like some of that white one in there, you just go right over it. Pull it out. Pull it out. Turn it around and do the tops. Make sure you're holding your brush handle straight, otherwise you get you don't get that nice point at the end. See how I can lift it up? You don't just let go. You press it down, you turn it, you stand up and lift. And see how it's starting to form? We'll do this one too. So I'm going to press it, lift. And you want to make sure you always have enough paint in your brush. Turn that around. Pull out some of these leaves. This one's all the way on the end, but it doesn't matter. Okay, this maybe I'll do one more leaf there. Okay. And then what I like to do is, I don't know, I'm a dot nut. I love to do dots. Now, when you're making your dots, you can either use the back of your brush or you can use a toothpick toothpick or you can use these styluses which are really nice any kind of embossing stylus set 
I guess you use those for stenciling. And I'm going to use a tiny one here. And I'm just going to dot it in the white and go boom, boom, boom. And give it a couple of dots. It just makes it really, I don't know, I, I just think it looks really nice with dots. And I'm just putting them in between where the leaves are. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And look at how pretty that looks, right? It looks nice in the blue, too. Wipe that off. And I'm going to, that'll be, that's it. And what I'm going to do is when that, when these dry, I love to use this crystal gloss enamel glitter. It, it's a glitter paint, but it's clear. And you can't notice it that much on here, but it, it, it gives it a little sparkle there, which is kind of nice. And it's enamel finish, so it gives it a shiny finish, which is really nice. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back and see me again. Bye-bye for now.